four members of parliament here. The rest have sent their apologies. We have been here to review the situation, the security situation here. As you are aware, there is an ongoing operation uh, to deal with the security challenges, especially banditry and livestock rustling in Northern Rift Valley, including Turkana County. We have made some progress, but we still have challenges which uh, we met this morning to, to, to address. Uh, uh, as you're aware, last year we did give uh, uh, money to train, equip, and, and uh, deploy uh, additional uh, NPRs uh, for Trukana. But uh, having assessed uh, the situation, we are uh, of the view that we need to increase the number of NPR for Tukana County. And therefore, I have asked the security team to work with other stakeholders and uh, ensure that we add the number of uh, NPRs within Tukana County by 468, which will be spread across the areas where we still have problems. We still have problems in uh, Tukana East, uh, parts of Tukana South, uh, Loima, and also in our, uh, our border with the South Sudan, the Nadapa area, and also in the north, we, we still have issues a little different uh, in Kibish area and Todonyang. So we, we will make that intervention. Secondly, we are also going to increase the number of administrative units so that we can have um, government security enforcement infrastructure closer to the people. I have asked the county uh, security team again to supervise a public participation exercise and uh, generate proper minutes, working together with the political leaders so that we can have more units uh, for this area. Number three, there are some administrative units which were gazetted uh, but are no longer, are, no, are not yet operational. Uh, we already operationalized uh, Lokichogyo sub-county and now we are finalizing the operationalization of Suguta, Aro and Okiriyama and I'll be back hopefully in the next one, two weeks uh, to, uh, uh, to make sure that we, we start the process of uh, operationalizing the remaining sub-counties and we are going to agree with the political leaders how to go about that, uh, including where there is no infrastructure uh, we want uh, CDF to support us uh, to finalize the infrastructure for the offices for our officers so that uh, to enhance the situation here. As I have said, um, there have been some uh, progress, but still we are experiencing uh, challenges. Uh, in the last six months, um, 6,800 livestock has been stolen from Trukana County by criminals who are suspected to be coming from neighboring uh, a county and um, out of the 6,800 we have recovered 5,600, 1,200 livestock, heads of cattle and camels are outstanding. I have directed the county security and intelligence team to look for the remainder of the livestock, recover it and hand it over to their owners. Already we've had recoveries, including early this week. I think uh, one, two months ago, we even recovered a huge number, 2,000 uh, of the goats and sheep, which were handed over to their owners. But still we want 100% recovery. The key solution to this problem will be the complete suppression of banditry. Uh, as you're aware, our officers are doing their best and the government is supporting them by modernizing their equipment because we do not want to have casualties among law enforcement officers. Last week, I commissioned a number of uh, armored personnel carriers and mine resistant ambush protected vehicles and some of them are destined for this uh, area and within the weekend we will get additional uh, armored vehicles to enforce uh, the law here and to fight banditry so that our teams of officers are not exposed because in the past we have lost officers because of uh, traveling in non uh, vehicles that are not protected. 
Last night we had an incident in Nokori. Our teams in uh, the sub-county uh, with the support from the neighboring sub-counties are leading an operation for recovery of uh, that livestock and I've also directed the county uh, security team to, to move to that area and support that recovery process. Um, we regret that uh, we lost uh, uh, a few people uh, who uh, were lost in that attack last night and um, our assurance to the people of Trukana and the people of Kenya in all the counties that are affected by this problem. We are not yet there, but we are getting there. The equipment which has come will be supplemented by another equipment we are expecting in two weeks. And that equipment includes air assets, which will coordinate with the ground teams. And these air assets are armored, so they are able to carry out kinetic operations from the air and that is the, the only language that bandits and uh, livestock thieves understand. So that we have a coordinated, coordinated uh, approach and air to ground communication between the, the teams that are working on recovering uh, livestock and preventing livestock theft on the ground with air teams. So in a short while, this picture and this scenario is going to change drastically. I just want to request for a little more patience as we all of us struggle because we are all partners. Our security agencies are partners in this effort. Uh, political leaders who have really done a big role in uh, supporting this uh, operation against crime are also important stakeholders and that's why we took time to consult with them this morning. So we came here to agree together as security people with our uh, political leaders and other stakeholders on how we firm up and seal the gaps, the remaining gaps, so that we can uh, uh, control this problem and eradicate it from our country once and for all. The highway uh, uh, between here and Kitale initially was a bit uh, volatile and dangerous. We've now been able to, uh, to stabilize the highway. And then we have some issues uh, between ourselves and our neighboring country of, uh, of uh, Uganda. We have is uh, some issues, cross-border security issues between ourselves and our brothers in southern Sudan. We are engaged at diplomatic and state-to-state -state level to resolve those issues, including about 42 or so of our kingsmen from our country who are in jail in Uganda the negotiations are at an advanced stage. And we are expecting in the next two months or so, the president of Kenya, the president of Uganda, will be in this region with a view to having a general resolution on the cross-border problems we have. And uh, as part of that cross-border diplomatic state-to-state -state engagement, we are hoping that our brothers and sisters who found themselves in Ugandan jails will be with us, all of them, uh, hopefully. And we are cooperating very well with our, our neighbor, Uganda. The same with the South Sudan. We have some uh, incursion uh, around Nadapa area, which we are handling. We just request for calm. Uh, the security agencies are seized of that matter. And we are going to make sure that uh, we do not expose our people to any threat, uh, even if it is coming from across the border. So by and large, that is what we are doing. And sometimes security matters being painful, being um, costly because we are losing lives can be quite draining. I just want to urge all stakeholders, including journalists and members of the press, to be on one side of law enforcement and peace and security and isolate the bandits and criminals to be on one side alone. The moment the bandits think that we are divided, and maybe there are some people who are sympathetic to them, the more they get emboldened. And I think we are seeing the last vestiges of this problem that has troubled us for so many years. We are seeing the last, the last bit of it. Um, we are also going to clean areas where uh, some of the bandits are hiding, including the game reserve in the south of uh, this county. 
and we have discussed how to clean up that place uh, as a disturbed area and make sure that nobody accesses that place for whatever reason. If they are looking for pasture, they will look for pasture elsewhere. And of course, finally, 